But let's take a, a look now at another portion of this documentary from Alex Holder. Uh, it's an interview with Donald Trump. This is after the insurrection. This is in March 2021 at his Florida home, Mar-a-Lago. Can we talk for a minute about January 6th? Well, it was a sad day, but it was a day where there was great anger in our country. The people uh, went to Washington primarily because they were angry with an election that they think was rigged. A very small portion, as you know, went down to the Capitol, and then a very small portion of them went in. But I will tell you, they were uh, angry from the standpoint of what happened in the election, uh, because they're smart, and they see, and they saw what happened. and. I believe that that was a big part of what happened on January 6th. That's actually pretty uh, restrained. He's justifying the criminality and the insurrectionists. Mm -hmm. He's downplaying what they were trying to do. They were just expressing anger. They were not just expressing anger. They were there to stop the counting of electoral votes to give the presidency to Donald Trump to steal it. Yeah, and he was talking as if it just happened in a place far away from anything that he did or said or now that we are seeing, um, try to coordinate with the people around him. They didn't just get angry. He made them angry right. by telling them lies. And he's not separated from that, even though he's trying to separate himself from it. That is classic Donald Trump. He knows, because he did this his entire life, if you say something enough times, and if you sell whatever you're trying to sell, whether it's an idea or a product, enough times the same way, he can get people to sign on. I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty outrageous that there was not one word of condemnation about what happened on January 6th that came out of his mouth at that time. But it's also notable that that position that Trump had then in the months after January 6th is actually the position that has been adopted mm -hmm. by uh, many Republicans today, many lawmakers on Capitol Hill, which is to say, oh, it was just a few people ignoring totally the, the violence and the intent here, which was to uh, stop the peaceful transfer of power. Uh, this is a, a portrait of a former president who is still cultivating what he described as anger on that day. And that is, I think, what the committee, you know, as we're going through these hearings, wants to reiterate to the American public. It's, it's what Judge Ludig said, the clear and present danger for the future, a former president who is not remorseful, but is also still stirring up the anger that might reappear again at some point. In to the Abby's point, not only doesn't he condemn, he calls them smart after all of this. There is no mention of the people who died. There is no mention of all of the police officers who were injured. There is no mention of the destruction, the threats, hang Mike Pence. He's still saying they're smart and it's still rigged. It's absolutely perpetuating it. 